one of the things that's not done at all is this photo credit. So we're gonna do this just now. And then the last thing is to just have another look at this and think about what's where it should be and what isn't and what we can do about it and what we should do about it. So first of all, let's make this box quickly. I am going to hit W so I can also see what's outside of the page. This is another thing that being in this normal mode, uh, not the preview mode, lets me do. And I'm going to make the box here to the side and then move it where it's supposed to be. So I'm just going to make a regular text box. Um, the text is not here, so I will write it myself. Or I can just copy and paste it from here. Let's see, it's a bit more difficult. I think it's easier to just write it. Let's Marius Kivu is the name of the photographer, and I'm going to have to insert the copyright symbol now. That's useful to know. That's also in the glyphs panel. So again, type glyphs. I'm just going to look for a copyright symbol here somewhere. Here it is. And have a space after it. And change the font here again to avant-garde, normal. And this is really small. It's actually it's not as small as the text at the bottom. So this is nine. So this is just some black text. I'm going to make this smaller. I'll fit it exactly when I put it there. But I also need to center this text first vertically and horizontally and fill this box with black. I can fill the text with the box with black and then I need to select the text and make it white. And it's going to be more difficult when I have black text in a black box. It's a bit difficult to see. So I'm going to select this first and make the text white. Now, when you want white in InDesign, you're going to choose paper. There's no actual white. So I'm just going to click paper and this is going to turn white. I'm going to check, select the box, not the text. And choose black here. Okay, this is what I want. Now, the first thing I need to do is to rotate it. We looked at this a bit to rotate. You just move your cursor when when you have the selection tool, the black arrow tool selected. Just move it outside of the corner of an object and it turns into this doubled rounded arrow and you just click and drag and to make it fully or perfectly vertical, you hold shift and this is only going to let you rotate it in 45 degree increments. So this is what we want. And I'm going to place it here right in the corner. Again, zoom in. I have this exact problem with the line, but I'm going to leave it like this. And it's not that big of a problem since my box is also black. I'm going to make it exactly one row tall and maybe a bit wider so the text is more I don't know pleasantly set up there so if we look at the original there's one thing here that's not quite the same very difficult to to tell but the photo actually has a thicker border so I'm gonna click on this main photo and switch this to one point so it's a bit heavier whoops I don't know what happened um, and then there's a question of these objects here that are kind of randomly uh, divided. So normally you would want, let me just make a little square here and make it colorful so you can see better what I'm talking about. You would want the space here between the logo and the text 
to be the same as below, to be the same as here, uh, and maybe to be the same as at least here. And here it actually is. Uh, again, I haven't set up the structure so that it really covers everything for this document. Uh, so I'm not going to bother that much with it. But what I am going to do is at least make the space here and here. So above and below the logo be equal and then adjust the, the car cartoon accordingly. So for that, I'm going to select the lines and the text boxes here. Just make click and drag a selection area around them and right click and group them or C control G or command G on the Mac is also uh, what you could do. And do the same thing for this. Just make sure both lines and the text box are covered. And yeah, this is fine. Control G and now this is a group as well. And I'm going to select all these th three, the group at the top, the logo and the group at the bottom. I'm going to select them by holding shift. So click on the first one, then hold shift and click on the second one and keep holding shift and click on the third one. Now all three are selected. Um, and I can come in up here or I'm going to show you where you'll find it all the time in case you don't have it on the toolbar. Uh, go to the window menu and under object and layout you have a line. So this is a bunch of options that let you align objects to one another or to the page or to the margins. And what I'm going to click here is under distribute spacing. Make it in such a way that we actually see what's going on here. This one, distribute vertical space. You can kind of tell by the icon. So it's going to make all the spaces between the objects equal. Let's click on this. And now this and this are equal and then the last thing to do is make this just a bit shorter i'm gonna hold control and shift so i also resize the cartoon inside the box um, and then without holding shift or control make sure it's wide enough okay so this is the final format of our document with some random positioning for elements it's true but this is the first exercise uh, for us in InDesign so it's one time where we can allow a bit of uh, let's say relaxation but normally even fractions of a millimeter should be justified in whatever way. So for now, this is going to be acceptable for this particular project.